freshman again, quarterback? Uh, nah, nah, he doesn't. Uh, he looks very poised back there. He uh, makes very accurate throws, and uh, all those throws are on the money. And if you had extra time, is that or you doing fundamentals? Tell us what you been able to do over the last few days. Uh, yeah, I mean, just trying to clean up the little things, you know, out of our practice, you know, get more of the stuff we don't usually get to do, you know, during the week when it's a fast week and everything, like, coming at you quick. Carolina's been a thorn for you guys. Does this game like, really stick out as one you really want to get? Uh, I mean, every game's the same, but, like, uh, yeah, like you said, uh, we haven't beat those those guys, you know, since I've been here, since uh, Coach Narduzzi and them been here, we got here around the same time, but, you know, Try to approach every game the same, but you know we definitely want to get it, get one. Dan, when you're facing a first-year quarterback, do you, do you feel you, like you guys have an advantage? Uh, I mean, he's a pretty good quarterback. Yeah, you see it on you see it on film. You see, you know, he doesn't make many mistakes. So I don't know about an advantage, but we'll try to do our best to come after. Him. Yeah, would you describe the communication between around the defense right now? Uh, I feel like it's at all-time high. You know, it's really like the best since I've been here. Really, uh, I mean, that's a lot to say, but. It really is, you know, we got, you know, guys all bought in, you know, guys all bought into where we're going and uh, we're playing very good defense. Did you think, you know, when Rashad goes down and when Keyshawn goes down that that D line would, would go off the way that they have this season? Uh, I still had a lot of faith in those guys, you know, especially with Coach Parcher, you know, he, he's done a great job with the D line. Uh, they, like, like I said, about not just the defense, but the D line, they all bought in, you know, they stepped up to the plate. The young guys, you know, they took on that that, that chance that they had. Isn't that aren't there sacks just because guys aren't open? I so. mean, <laughs> I mean, I would say a lot of them are, but not, not <laughs> all. <of them. laughs> your games have been a lot of your games have been close, but a lot of the games in the ACC overall have been close. Knowing you're going into a game is going to end up maybe with one play in the fourth quarter. What kind of stress is that? And what kind of pressure do you maybe put on yourself because of that? Uh, just got to be, you know, you got to be ready for anything at any time. You know, it's a, it's a while. It's been a wild season, you know, ups and downs. But like like you said, uh, we don't try to put too much stress on ourselves. You know, just, just go out there and play the next play. We talked a lot to the defensive linemen about, you know, how they work so hard with Coach Partridge. And the, what's it like uh, in your room with Coach Collins? Uh, it's pretty much the same. You know, all, the, all our, our coaches hold us to the same standard, you know. Like like I said earlier, you know, the whole defense is just bought in. It's not just one position group that's excelling. So, you know, it's always a positive where you can feed off each other and, you know, do great things. Why do you think the buy in? Why do you think that everybody's bought in so well? Uh, I think, I think you know, just in the summer, you know, summer without the coaches being here in fall camp, you know, we've seen the potential that we had. You know, even from last year, you know, we just try to keep building on those previous seasons. And you do a double take if you see Aaron Donald around the facility, or is it just sort of like, well, of course he's here because he's Aaron Donald? I mean, just knowing, like, just being around and just seeing him like, on a regular, daily, all throughout the summer, it was like every every day, you know. So, I mean, there's no more double takes now, but, like, when he first came, it's probably like, oh, like, he's here again, you know. Do you find yourself ever watching him I mean, work yeah, out? Uh, of course, you know, you watch you watch those guys, you know, he's, he's here for a reason, you know what I'm saying? That's where you're trying to go, so... Of course, you watch him, see, you know, all the little things that he do that, that he does, you know, to get where he's at. Does yeah. he share the trade secrets with you guys? Uh, I'm, I mean, I, I, don't I mean, know. I know you play a different position, yeah, but I mean, yeah, yeah. but in terms of what it takes to kind of get to to that level. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, if you ask him, you know, if you go up to him and ask him questions, he he's open about anything. You know, he doesn't keep anything closed. You know, he's trying to help you get there just as much as he's he's there. I, I know what you're going to say. Every game is the same, but playing in prime time does that mean anything to you? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, it's just. You know, there's so many eyes watching. You know, Thursday night game. You know, you're probably the only only team playing, ESPN under the lights. You just can't ask for much more.